hello guys and uh, welcome back to another tutorial on blender and if you watch my um, previous video on how to create this um air style i already mentioned that i'll be explaining how you can um animate your air with this um that's 3d um character so we are going to be doing that right now also don't forget to check out my mock-up on gumroad in case you need one for your um, fashion brand it's it is quite affordable so you can visit there and check out if you like any mock up or you need any mock up then you can purchase them so um also don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos so i'll be skipping some processes because i will assume that you already know how to do the old mixamo exporting thing but then let me just explain so i'm selecting the character shape and also the um also the eyelashes male eyelashes i'll skip the scalp so we'll go to file we're also going to go to um export then you can export it as um fbx sorry so you can place it anywhere you want on your system anywhere you want you understand because though i've already done mine so also in case you have multiple stuff on your scene it's very important for you to select limit to selected objects so that it will export everything around everything in your scene and then when you upload on mix them or you start seeing something like an um, error one kind of error message like that so write a rename your file and also export that fbx and that's all you're good to go so um your browser then um this is my mixamo um character already here yeah. so that is what i'm saying so all you need to do is just go to upload and upload the fbx follow the necessary instruction and we're going to be in this particular position then the next thing you need to do is to select any kind of animation that you want to use but in this tutorial then the animation i used was catwalk sequence one catwalk so search for it so if you want to follow up it's catwalk um sequence one I'm coming the male version so um i hope i've not skipped through it coming let me see if I can see find. Okay, yeah, this is a scatwork sequence one. So this is what I use in the video, and I drag this from beginning to the end. Just drag this streamline. So let me scroll backward. So this is it. Catwalk sequence one. So this is what we'll be using here. So when you are done, you can download it, download it with the character. So and we are going to go. So let's go back to Blender. So I'm going back to Blender. So um let me just open another um collection okay. okay yes let me see new collection station inside this task root um delete okay let me just leave it inside that root too so i'll just go to file go to import go to um fbx and i'll go to my download then um this catwalk sequence one or two okay 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 so i'll be importing it import fbx yes so now um in this tutorial i'll be using another technique to do this if you watch my previous tutorial all you need to do to um all you need to do is to add um uh, is to reselect your texture for this character and you can do that but there's another way that i just learned that you can just transfer this animation from this example rig to this um character that is on a post instead of doing the old selection of um let's come let me scroll up so the new selection of selecting the character then you have to go to the edit mode then you have to start um if you watch my previous tutorial you've seen what i did with that so when you select this you select this and you select the male face you can see so you select this select the drop down look for the um name without this 0 0.001 it's always before this actual name so you do that for you keep scrolling and doing it you keep doing it for sorry keep doing it for every um shader here but there's another way you can do it so um first of all what you do is when you select this um select this character so when you go to the modifier you need to turn off this you get the character is already the character exported uh we imported here is already in a post already so select this character that is shaded already or let's go to this new part 
select add modifier search for um data transfer you can see it here so when you do that you need to um select the um character that came with uh, mixamo so we need to turn off this so let me drag this off first because your data transfer has to be on top so select this select um the character yes is there so um let's turn on our character back understand but then we don't need this um that's all we don't need the character that was rigged from example so i'll probably turn it off yeah so this is the amateur you can just drag this that you see it so you can turn it off there so um the next thing we need to do is to select vertex data then select the drop down select um vertex group then you can just close it back and make sure that your data transfer is on top of every other modifier or your amateur modifier so next thing you need to do is to click on generate data layer when you do that you can see so we are doing it as done generating but first of all let's first set our just one yeah i'm going to be writing i think because i know this animation is about 400 and something so i'll be selecting let's say 500 in total so i'll be selecting um 500 so the next thing we need to do is to um select the character and then select the rig you get when you select character select you just select control p and select the material deform you can see now our character has taken action so you can see it moving but you can see our air has disappeared i don't know i need to do a close it so or uh, that's just how to transfer animation fr from a rig from mixer mode to a dusty really character hopefully this also work for other um ways of animating too so so this is another method if you don't want to go through the method of doing the shader aspect so the next thing we need to do now is to rig the hair so that it can also move with the character as you can see like presently right now so so this is it here so i think the lashes of the character <coughs> let me select these lashes if still yes so you can select this and uh, go to the i think this one should not be a big deal melt here and you can see so that's just it so um to rig the hair of the character all you need to do is to um select this um and then we will just select um this you get select the rig then go to control tab then when you do that um then select the particular rig you want to rig it to so you can select this so if you are selecting this then um i think other rigs are not selected yes so the next thing you need to do is to select ctrl p and um select bone so so as you can see it is moving with the um character you can see for instance, that it's moving with the character before it was falling off but there's a way to fix this because i'm sure you noticed that it is not properly on the character's head because of the starting pose of the character so um the way to fix this is this now i can i will just have to undo this so i have to undo everything so what we need to do we need to make sure this animation starts from a t pose the actual pose that it was when this um air was um created or designed you get so um it's not going to be a big deal so we'll go to um control tab so what i'll do is to first select this or select yes go to this then go to file sorry not file go to let me select, select again go to control tab or go to post mode you can always go to post mode when you select the rig you can always find post mode here i can always switch back to object mode so when you do that you need to just drag this drag the um keyframe back it'd be probably um 30 frames ahead you get what i'm trying to say yeah so uh, it's fine like this 
though my system is already laggy so um next thing you need to do is to go to um I'm coming yes pause go to um clear transform and go to select all so it gives you the t pose you are looking for then you select um you need to keyframe that so you can select i or i think right click when you right click you can it has already shown the keyframe here already so um that's all i is to keyframe or you can always right click to insert keyframe so um the next thing you need to do is to go back to object mode then um okay so since we already have the rigs and it is the air is properly placed with this a post so we'll do the same thing that we did before so we'll just select the air and select this hold on shift to select the rig then we'll need to go back to um post mode so when we go back to post mode you select um the rig you want to select the rig you need you want to use sorry the head rig just select the head rig since this is it so um the head bone sorry not rig sorry so um then you select um control p and you select bone then let's move this let's see i'm dragging it so to be sure that yes so this is it so it's moving with our character let me see don't mind it it's because of the shader so um so this is it so now there's no air dynamics on this scalp so let's go back to object mode so in case you have a longer air and you want your air to um come in let's go to, let me select the scalp so in case you want your hair to simulate with the movement like i said earlier all you just need to do is to go back to the modifier of this air then we'll go back to sorry the particle not modifier then you turn on this air dynamics so then you can always do the rest the catch you can bake or select where you want it what's the start frame of the simulation and the end frame let's say it's uh, 500 so you do that so it's very very important zero frame memory distance so you can always play and you can bake your this thing so you can see this red line you can tell you that it is baking this red movement here below you can see it here so that's to tell you that it is baking and you can see it is counting here but then we have a shorter hair so it might not be too obvious so in, in case you are using a longer hair and you want to see the whole um air movement and simulation you get what i'm trying to say so this is just what you need to do so um thank you for watching this tutorial on um how to um rig your hair with mixamo so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video like this